I guess in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss what how to run Java program in Visual Studio Code. So first here, if I go on this command prompt, then here if I try to displace Java minus minus version, then you can see Java 24 version that already installed. If I write there Java, Java is working, Java C also working. So first you need to download any version of this Java. The next is let's open the Visual Studio code. So then after here first you need to go on this extension. And on this extension you need to type there Java. So here you can get this all package. So this come from Microsoft 36 million download. So you need to click on this extension and thereafter click on this install button. So this installing the extension pack for Java. Extension pack for Java that install. Thereafter let's go on this explorer and there let's click on new file. They are going to give the file name test.java. So this place here, the next is so uh, let's go and they are going to print first hello world. Hello world and paste there. The next is the class name is test so that here giving the name test. And then after save that and click run start debugging. So debugger for Java is now running, opening Java project and here you can see this process is going on because this that I'm using for apps. On this Java is now, now the after you can get here this come from Eclipse. Let's click on allow and now you can see hello world that's display. Now if you run second time start debugging. So here or this time this is giving the output quickly. The next is let's so or run or different code. So there I'm going to add the two numbers with the help of Java. So let's so and paste there. Here you can see a red mark that means so here you need to give the class name correctly and now control s to save. Then after if you right click there run java option you can get this. Let's click on this run java and now here let's enter the first number second number so the sum of 7 and 6 13 that's display. So this is how we can all run Java program inside of Visual Studio Code. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.